All right, let's talk about a virus that's been making headlines lately, Mpox. You might have heard it called monkeypox. This name comes from the fact that it was first discovered in laboratory monkeys in 1958. It's a rare disease, but understanding it can help keep you safe. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to protecting your health and the health of those around you. First off, the basics. Mpox is caused by the Mpox virus, which is similar to the one that causes smallpox, but it's usually less severe. Unlike smallpox, Mpox is not as deadly, but it can still cause significant health issues. There are two types of Mpox virus, clade 1 and clade 2. Each clade has its own characteristics and regions where it is more commonly found. Clade 1 originated in Central Africa, while clade II started spreading in West Africa. These regions have seen more cases historically, but the virus can spread to other areas through travel and animal trade. So, how does it spread? Mpox can spread through close contact with an infected person. This includes direct physical contact such as touching or hugging. This means physical contact, sharing bedding, or even touching items contaminated by the virus. It's crucial to maintain good hygiene and cleanliness to prevent the spread. You can also get it from an infected animal like rodents or primates. These animals can carry the virus and transmit it to humans through bites, scratches, or direct contact. It's important to note that it's not as easily spread as COVID-19, which means it doesn't transmit through the air as easily. However, close and prolonged contact can still pose a risk. But caution is still key. Regular hand washing and using hand sanitizer can significantly reduce your risk of infection. Now let's dive into the symptoms. Recognizing the signs early can help in seeking timely medical attention. Symptoms usually start within one to two weeks after exposure. This incubation period can vary, but it's generally within this time frame. They begin with fever, headache, muscle aches, and swollen lymph nodes. These initial symptoms can be quite similar to other viral infections, making it important to monitor any changes closely. Then comes the rash. It starts on the face and spreads to other parts of the body, transforming from red spots to fluid-filled blisters that eventually crust over and fall off. This rash can be quite uncomfortable and may leave scars. The whole process can take two to four weeks. During this time, it's important to avoid contact with others to prevent spreading the virus. Wondering how to protect yourself? Here are some prevention tips. Being proactive can make a big difference in staying healthy. First, avoid close contact with people or animals that could be infected. This includes avoiding wild animals and being cautious around pets that may have been exposed. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Good hand hygiene is one of the simplest and most effective ways to prevent infection. If you're caring for someone who might be infected, wear protective clothing like gloves and masks. This helps to minimize your risk of catching the virus. And if you're traveling to an area where Mpox is more common, take extra precautions. This includes checking travel advisories and following recommended guidelines. Vaccination can also help. There are vaccines for smallpox that provide some protection against Mpox. These vaccines can be particularly useful for those at higher risk. If you're at high risk, such as a healthcare worker or someone traveling to an affected area, consider getting vaccinated. This added layer of protection can be crucial. In summary, while Mpox isn't as common as some other diseases, understanding it is crucial for prevention and safety. Staying informed and taking the right precautions can help you stay healthy. Stay informed, take precautions, and consult with healthcare professionals if you have any concerns. They can provide the most accurate and up-to-date information. That's it for now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on health topics. Stay safe everyone, your health is your wealth, so take care.